Hey there, yeah, I just watched a bunch of stuff during quarantine. I also rewatched some too. Well, let's not beat around the bush and actually get to the reviews. First off, Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Chapter 1. It's not amazing. I was looking forward to it actually, but it ended up being your standard Transformers guff with a great animation. It's not hampered by your typical blocky awkward animation Japanese CGI usually offers. It's great animation, although I do have some gripes about how the characters move. You see, these are Transformers. They're clunky, blocky creatures. So when they twist their hips around, it doesn't really sit well with me. Even though it has some questionable politics, I s still recommend it. I give it a 6. It's that new anime based on that manga. Wow. Yeah, um, I recommend the manga instead. Don't get me wrong, I love the 2D animation in this, but the 3D animation is just too janky, too awkward. The reason I'm still recommending this series is because everything else is pretty good. The story, the plot, the characters that are very intriguing to say the least. But yeah, I recommend the manga more. The anime is a 6, but the manga is an 8. Uh, please don't watch it. It's very trashy and it spits on the victims who were affected by this tragedy. Really, I recommend just watching it any documentary on this tragedy. Please do not support this movie. I regret watching it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, it's a, it's a one. One from me. The Umbrella Academy season one is pretty alluring to say the least. I enjoyed the premise. The characters are wonderfully written. My favorite is Klaus. Best boy. Best boy. Overall, just needs a little bit of fat trimming here and there. And we might have a masterpiece at our hands. Now for season 2, uh, the magic is largely maintained, although it suffers a little bit from the same pacing problems from season 1. Both seasons combined, I give it a 7. Yeah, that show. Please, just don't. Don't watch it, just watch the Teen Titans cartoon. Or heck, even Teen Titans Go! It's better than this. I don't know anymore, man. I'm gonna give it a 3, at most. It was surprisingly good, until the third act happens. Now let me be clear, I'm not the biggest Power Rangers fan out there. I went into this expecting it to completely suck balls. But as I kept watching, I began to feel as if this movie could be something very special. But then, Billy dies. Yeah, and after that we got our transformation to the Power Rangers and it all falls down. It was just a CGI fest after CGI fest after CGI fest. And then it ends. The beginning and end are the weakest parts of this movie, but everything else is pretty good. I give it a 5. The end of Evangelion. It's a classic for a reason. Although... I do find it pretty redundant. In my personal opinion, the original series had the perfect ending, and the movie really diminishes the impact of the original ending, which I find to be fitting. For the series, I give it a perfect 10. But for the movie, End of Evangelion, I give it an 8. Oh boy, it's, uh, it's Evangelion for weeps, basically. Four. So I, I better get going, uh, this isn't my house, but it's, it's uh, yeah, fine.